Agathina. <laughs> Today's episode, I'm just going to tell a little bit about my experience at the University of Pennsylvania. This doesn't have as much to do with Athena, but just because a few folks have asked me about it, I thought like I should share a little bit about my story. Next week, we'll have a different video for you guys to comment, like, and subscribe. So, here goes. Going to the University of Pennsylvania was a very crazy experience, uh, especially because I was doing it while working full-time. So I was a part-time student, full-time employee at an art museum, and I felt like I was running 90% of the time. But before we even get around to that, let's talk about why Penn. So the program that I got into at Penn is known as the School of Liberal and Professional Studies and it's similar to my undergraduate degree or program where it doesn't specify what and how you should study. You really have the ability to create your own concentration and so I recently graduated from the College of Liberal and Professional Studies with a Master's of Liberal Arts in African American Visual Culture. <laughs> so uh, it was a really big deal and a huge achievement, but also attending an Ivy League school was challenging, particularly doing graduate work. At times it felt very isolating because you don't have the same sort of community that you would experience in undergrad. So I had to really find a way to motivate myself, um, but also my community was my family. So that meant a lot. Uh, additionally, what was difficult is that I had to do a lot of commuting. I literally walked, I ran, rode a subway, and also commuted on New Jersey Transit at night. It was horrible. This is not an endorsement for New Jersey Transit. It's terrible. Please fix it as soon as possible. <laughs> I can just, I don't even think I really want to tell y'all the half of like traveling at night because classes for graduate students, it's meant to be from like the end of the work day till five o'clock to about 8 p.m. That's three hours of learning. Some classes were intense, some others a little different. There was actually this one class where we did yoga. And if you know me, I'm a Virgo, I don't like to do, <laughs> I like to get to business. So it was very interesting, but you can understand what liberal arts is really like because it's supposed to be a well-rounded experience. Um, for those of you who might be thinking about going back to school, I would say do it. The way that I got into Penn, I actually didn't even believe that I would actually get accepted into their program, but I did. And it was surprising. I actually found out on uh, maybe my third week of work on my big girl job, <laughs> I was sitting in a bathroom stall and I got my acceptance email um, and I ran out. Don't worry, I did wash my hands, but I ran out afterwards and just, it was like a breathless feeling. So if you're on the fence, if you feel that your undergraduate experience wasn't as worthwhile as you wanted it to be, uh, a graduate program is the chance to do things on your own terms, which is what I feel most proud of, that I got to have the ability to make decisions, even mistakes, but also learn from them and to expand on the knowledge that I love so much, which surrounds art and um, add to that field. So if you want to apply, I would say go for it. Uh, there's no reason maybe not to. You can always take a leap of faith and see what happens. So if you have any questions about specifically the College of Liberal and Professional Studies, feel free to comment or email me and I'll do my best to answer those questions. But until then, I hope that you guys are staying safe, staying healthy, and um, staying well during this crazy time of quarantine. Clearly, I've gotten a little creative with my time and I can't wait to see what you guys have to say. So thanks. Bye.